Happy Monday, everybody, and welcome to my podcast number 13. And today is April 17th, 2023. And are you awake? I guess it depends where you are on this planet. Yes. So um, I am Jackie O, if you don't know me, with Earth Mama Living. And I hope um, I help you connect to your body so that you're able to move through your blocks that have held you back from achieving optim optimal health and life pursuits using energetic healing, movement, sound, tarot, nutrition, journaling, and art therapies. Open up your mind about food and cooking, mental wellness, body movement, and holistic home living. So let me, so yeah, for those of you who are, are listening to the replay, we're recording this episode live on April 17th, 2023. Please tell your friends, share and heart this episode and let's grow together. So you can find me on earthmamaliving.com. That's my homepage, Facebook, which I'm recording directly right now through my live stream, Instagram, which is at earthmamalivingofficial. YouTube, and that is also Earth Mama Living, and Clapper, which is a new social media app that I started using recently. Very good, very good. TikTok Alignable, which is a really wonderful place for healers. And those of you in actually just wanting to connect with the medical community or healers, alternative therapies, all that kind of thing, and Rumble, because they're not censored. So that's fantastic. In today's show, I'm going to first do some sound healing and then do a quick meditation for you. And then I will read to you some passages that I found through my intuition, my guides, uh, that I felt that would be pertinent for this moment. And then I would like to talk to you about a new art piece around how I could have gotten through my extreme depression. Um, so what I'm doing is, obviously, I'm, I'm not going through it today, thank God. I have gone to the other side where I am not in, any longer in my extreme depression. But what I'm going to do for you is I would like to tap into that and create, sample a, a, a moment of of artwork that... I could use to have healed myself in the past with the tools that I have now. And so we're going to do that at the end. And uh, I haven't done this live before as far as creating artwork, other than doing my time lapse um, work. So I hope you've enjoyed my time lapse uh, videos. I've been posting those on TikTok, YouTube. Facebook, and definitely also Clapper. And um, yeah, pretty much everywhere because it seems that people like it. So, and I enjoy making them. It's kind of fun to see, uh, you know, really quick in 20 seconds, something that took me an hour to do or longer. So, and the last thing is, hi, Lynn, nice to see you. Um, meeting some new people today and old people, <laughs> people that I already know is fantastic. So um, also I wanted to reveal to you a new masterclass that I'm offering that will be um, eventually, it'll be a live Zoom event that I will be promoting and talking more details about soon, um, but also here. So, but before I begin and before I tell any more information about things that I know, is I always talk about my best words of advice about gathering information from anywhere. And that is this, please read and listen. I should do this like a car commercial, like really fast because I'm sure that <laughs> it's really not fun to listen to, but anyway, it's important, very important, please. Please read and listen to information you find here and anywhere with discernment. And what I mean is look things up on your own to confirm what you need to know and understand. Feel free to ask me questions, not everyone, has the whole truth, but when I look through and see multiple sources that contain similar or exact information and it resonates with me, then I sit with it until further or different knowledge is gathered or changed my mind about something. For example, does that make sense? And then lastly, <clears throat> 
The content available through my website and my podcast is for information and educational purposes only and is not a substitute for the professional judgment of a healthcare professional in diagnosing and treating readers and listeners. There, there, we're done with that. Okay, here's my core belief and my bigger picture goal. And I would love to hear from you if this resonates with you. In all that I do, I believe in challenging the status quo. I believe in trusting our bodies to heal themselves. The way I challenge the status quo is by teaching clean living by what we eat, what we allow around us, and all that supports our bodies to heal themselves. And again, please feel free to ask questions in the, the chat window, and I will see them in um, the Facebook chat window specifically. Um, I also can check in with the LinkedIn chat window as well and make sure that I'm not missing anybody's comments. And so, yes, um, let's begin. I am Jackie, again, I am Jackie O, Jackie Olmstead. I am the Earth Mama, and I help moms create a holistic lifestyle to help maximize their whole family's health without sacrificing time flavor or sanity. Um, I do have a separate Facebook group that's called Plant-Based Gluten-Free Living. If you're interested in joining us, um, I that's where I post typically recipes and things about one part of what I heal, which is the nutritional aspect of healing. So I'm excited to talk to you about what I have today to offer. So um, I'm really, really excited and I thank you so much for being here. Um, so again, what I'm going to do is, is sound healing right now. And what I do is I use tuning forks and I also have a Tibetan bell that my mom got when she was in Tibet uh, a couple few decades ago, she brought it back for me and I'm feeling very blessed to have it still. And yeah. And so then a uh, really quick meditation to get into our hearts and our bodies and our souls and then I have some just some excerpts from books that I love and um, it's just a never-ending source for inspiration out there so first thing would be the sound excuse me excuse me excuse me you gotta love lives and um, unedited so here we're gonna we're gonna do the sound and um, for those of you who don't know, uh, one is a C and one is a G. And let me know if the sound is really loud or if you can't hear it at all, but I will do my best to help it be balanced and um, whatever it is that you might need today, whether it's the replay or you guys who are guys and ladies who are on the live. So thank you. You want to listen to this with the replay, I would suggest earbuds or headphones for when you want to listen. One really soothing thing that you could do for yourself is to hum along with these tuning forks and the bell.
Just take a deep breath in slowly and hold it. Of course, let go when you feel the most comfortable. Take another deep breath in. Let it go. Relax your shoulders and your shoulder blades. Release the stress from your day today. Thinking about that you do not have to hold anything in your body to feel that things will be going to be safe because everything is proceeding in the manner that it needs to. Everything in the universe has its own intelligence. <clears throat> and in this moment, you are grounded. Taking another deep breath in. I am connected to my spirit, my higher self. And I am here, I am present. Take another slow, deep breath in, and deep breath out, relaxing your shoulders even more. My own body has its own intelligence. And all of those around me, their bodies also have their own intelligence. So if you're feeling more relaxed, type in the comments, relax. I'm feeling more relaxed for sure. And I encourage you to re-listen to that section of this podcast when you do need to get grounded and get back into your body. <clears throat> So what I'd like to do now is to share with you a couple of readings. Um, I actually have, <clears throat> excuse me, I must get some water. I actually have a section that I have marked from the book that I actually con um, contributed to a couple of years ago. It's called Disease Reversal Hope. And it's written by Dan Purgis and Scott Stoll. And it, it's um, specifically about, um, about 30 people, 32, I guess, if you count the author's um, experiences with going plant-based and how it has transformed their lives entirely. But I just wanted to read an excerpt to you because it my experience and what I wrote about um, it was just a section of the part of my life where I had a lot of troubles and health issues that I did not know how to address. And it took me a while, it took me a long time to get to a point where I knew what to do. And I can tell you the end of that story here in just a moment. So just one section, this is page 128 of this book. Um, 
So here we go. So by high school, by high, this is, um, I, I totally encourage you to read this. By the way, it's very good. But by high school, we had moved multiple times and we were now living in Pennsylvania. Depression added to my health struggles, including a deepening sense of loneliness. This led to therapists who could offer some emotional support, but no real solutions for my chronic health crises. And now my mental health was at risk. And uh, by the way, we come full circle with this again back in 2012 through 2014. But um, then I went to college basically. And I also want to um, express to you where I was at this time. It was not the first time but um, I drank a lot. I, I began to drink excessively. Um, eventually, by the way, I got sober in 1990. Um, it was, it was uh, the year. And since then, uh, every day, one a day at a time, I've been sober since. Um, so those of you who struggle with that, um, definitely reach out to me if you have troubles with that or know anyone that could use um, support in that. I didn't even mean to be talking about that today. Oh my goodness. But anyway, my life story. So these times uh, were dark, very dark. And um, I often thought to myself that I didn't want to be here anymore on this earth. I had gained a bunch of weight also very fast during this time. And no doubt due to the drinking and standard college diet, which is very similar to the standard American diet, but in excess, and um, I was puffy, swollen, and miserable, still driven and living a perfectionist lifestyle. I leaned on my schooling to power me through those days so I could feel like I mattered. But my reality was showing up hungover in class, often late, hiding in the back row, and falling asleep. This was humiliating. And I, because I was a conscientious student, I had no idea how my health was impacting my choices and my choices impacting my health. So skip ahead um, quite a few years. Um, I was going through divorce in 2012 through 2013. Um, I had um, just gotten to an extremely low point in my life where I did not know what was the matter with me. And I actually did get, finally, I, I finally, um, actually a nurse friend of mine asked me why I was kept drinking these massive bottles and um, basically bottles of ice. I would be chewing and eating ice all day long. And we determined that all my exhaustion and extreme depression were caused by the fact, no one would just guess this offhand, but I was diagnosed with celiac disease. And so that was, it was one day where the doctor called me after having all of my blood work and called me himself and said, Jackie, I need you to immediately stop eating any gluten and uh, for the rest of your life, no more gluten. And at the time, I mean, I knew that gluten was from wheat, but I had to immediately overnight discover and dive headfirst into learning about where gluten lives. So. Um, I also luckily was working with a coach, a therapist for my mental aspect of my life. And the reason I'm going into all of this today is if I'm going to be revisiting this part of my life to be sharing, um, uh, artwork <clears throat> that would have supported me during that time. By the way, on the last podcast, I showed artwork that I did use that I did generate and create, during that time to help me through it. <clears throat> so please go back and, and watch the replay. Um, the replay of that podcast in video form is on YouTube. It's also on Spotify for podcasts. They have a video version that um, I uploaded. So I welcome you to watch that again if you haven't yet, because you can actually see the original art that I did at that time. So today um, I'm going to, if, <laughs> because this is a spot 
So it's like, I'm on the spotlight right now to create something for you guys. My disclaimer is um, I, I will tap into that and I will create something for you. But I also wanted to read to you something from the masters of this type of healing work, which is asking is given. Esther and um, Jerry Hicks, who are channelers of Abraham. If you're not too familiar with them, oh my gosh, you're missing a whole world of amazing healing and writings. So I encourage you. There's a section that I wanted to read, just a quick excerpt. And it is on page 18 of Ask and It Is Given. It is our desire that you become one who is happy with that which you are and with that which you have, while at the same time being eager for more. That is the optimal creative vantage point as you stand on the brink of what is coming, feeling eager, optimistic, anticipation with no feeling of impatience, doubt, or unworthiness hindering the receiving of it. That is the science of deliberate creation at its best. And then I also just wanted to quickly share to you that the journey, the scale of emotions, they call it. Um, I had written in my journal recently that I needed to revisit this chart. It's a chart of 22 emotions. And there is basically, and I will hold it for you. You can take a screenshot or go buy this book, which I highly encourage, and it's not focusing, but I will read it to you and it will be very meaningful. So they have actually a whole exercise based on this chart. The beginnings of it are this. So on a continuum of, of feelings and emotions, one is joy, knowledge, empowerment, freedom, love, and appreciation. And then we continue down the list of passion, going down to enthusiasm, eagerness, happiness. Next, positive expectation, belief, optimism, hopefulness, contentment, boredom, pessimism, frustration, irritation, impatience. And as you go down the list, by the way, in these moments of recognizing where we are. This is how we can figure out where we would like to be instead of where we currently are. So recognizing where we are in the moment is extremely valuable for our own growth and development. So frustration, irritation, impatience, and then overwhelmment, disappointment, doubt, worry, blame, discouragement, anger, revenge, hatred, rage, rage, jealousy, insecurity, guilt, unworthiness. And then lastly, where I've been, <clears throat> I'm sure you have as well. Um, in, in, in this the last one, fear, grief, depression, despair, powerlessness. And I hold you in my heart, in my right now, if you are in that space, and um, know that you can reverse this. You can get back to any of these points on the continuum of the scale of your emotions. I promise you, because I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. And we need each other as human beings to, to empower each other <clears throat> and love and offer our experience to show that we can do this. And by the way, that it's normal and okay. And this is all part of the human experience and to not beat yourself up for being in this place. Okay, please know that we are humans. We go through this stuff and, and this is what is normal for us. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's page 297, by the way, in Ask and Is Given, a really beautiful, beautiful book. So much in there. I think that's enough of the readings for today. Um, I, I'm going to tell you how I do this. And for those of you 
who have stayed through this and are listening to the end, I applaud you and I thank you for your patience and your, <laughs> your ability to, to um, continue listening when your brain might be out doing other things. So <clears throat> first thing, <clears throat> when I decide I'm going to do a drawing, oftentimes <clears throat> it's just compelling. It compelled in me. I feel a, a strong urge to get it out of my system because there's it's trapped in my mind. And I, I, I close in my mind, I close my eyes and I imagine in my mind, what do I need to get out? <clears throat> and usually it's the, usually it's um, a word or, um, so if I think to myself, and I'm going to turn the camera, by the way, to my drawing board so you can see and get an idea. Just a moment. That's hilarious. <laughs> my dryer is never on <laughs> sound mode. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> never any accidents, they say. So here, I'm going to show you my or my artboard here. And so um, I always start with, not always, most of the time I start with a smaller piece of paper and it's like usually even like a quarter of this size. And so, because I'm often sitting at my desk and I have a, I have something just kind of flash um, in my mind that I feel like needs to be expressed in order to get out of where I'm feeling. So if this is, if this is depression, if this is, you know what, I'm at my wits end. Um, I, so I'm asking my guys also to help me because I'm on the spot. Normally I have no problem. <laughs> so I want to thank you for, for experiencing this with me live. Um, and it doesn't even matter, by the way, what paper you have. And I do teach this. This is what I'll be teaching part of it in my master class, which is coming up. I uh, should be in uh, mid-May. I will I will definitely let you guys know. But so, okay. In, in the space of depression, um, I, so immediately I'm like this, Hey, I'm just, this is immediately what I'm feeling. And as you can see, it's not perfect. I don't believe in any kind of perfection for these kind of uh, therapeutic type of drawings. You know what? I don't call it art therapy. This is what I call healing through, through art and any kind of expression through, just cause I'm making up my own definition, making up my own, um, system. And um, so what I'm led to is, so here I am, I'm in the space of, and then I immediately am finding, compelled to, to draw the space around myself that is, and, and usually I don't have words for it, um, it's just, it's, it's because art, I believe, brings <clears throat> a visual to the, the heartfelt emotions that cannot necessarily be expressed with words. If not yet, then at least then you can show what it looks like. And I highly encourage you to do this. So, okay, so there's one. Um, and then what I do typically is I'll take this and I will then transcribe it into a more detailed, larger piece. And then I actually put color and you've seen me do, if you've, if you've watched my time lapses, you've seen how I've transmitted these into a final piece of, uh, a lot of people describe it as light language. A lot of it's, it's, channeled information to me this is from myself and this is also from my guides who are showing me okay this is where I am and this is the energy that's around me that either needs to come to me or needs to come out of me and when I did this 
just a moment ago, I was getting the feeling that it was not only me putting out the waves of despair and depression feeling that, that need to go out of me, but also feeling the love and the, <clears throat> the, the energy of my ancestors and the, the, the people in my life who actually can support and love me, that they are there, even if I cannot necessarily feel them or see them, they are there. And visually, this is showing me that this is the truth for me. And I don't know what it is that you're feeling yourselves, you guys, today for expressing something like this. Um, so, so when I do this, then I, I get into this, to the space of rendering it in a more a higher resolution, so to speak, in digital terms. It'll be higher quality, and so I will. Went, I'll go from pencil to a permanent marker. Then these are some of my. Um, they're 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 permanent. They're usually made with India ink. They're permanent, waterproof. Um, so I take this and what I'll do is I'll start drawing with my pencil though on the larger piece and I will go backwards. So you can just see how big, this is the 18 by 24 uh, piece of paper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that actually at another time because that takes a lot longer and I don't want to, actually what I can do is the time lapse of the translation of this. And if you, okay, if you do this for yourself, which I highly recommend, by the way, first thing is don't hold back. Get any, any kind of paper, get an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, get any kind of drawing instrument, pen, pencil, crayon, pen, you know, anything, lipstick, if you have to. Um, number one, don't hold back. Just grab what you've got, grab it and write it down. Just even if it's only an inch big, the, the small bit of being able to express yourself visually. Number two, do not judge yourself. Absolutely allow the energy and the love to flow through you for what you're expressing. If you don't feel safe showing it to anyone in the world, don't, okay? Hold on to keep it for yourself. Put it in your journal. If you don't have a journal, if you don't keep journals, if you're uncomfortable, put it in a drawer that nobody ever goes in. Just, just so that you can put it in a safe space for yourself. And then eventually, I would highly suggest that you do share it with somebody when you're ready, okay? And... I will be putting these in the notes for when I post this on my final podcast, what I just talked about. And I encourage you to reach out and let me know how it goes. I would love to hear because first of all, I've never done this live before or even on a regular video. So it's kind of, it's kind of raw for me, you guys. It's, um, it's uh I've been doing this since I was little and it's just because I yeah I, I'm an artist yes I am and at the same time I truly believe that even if you're not an artist you don't have to be an artist you don't have to have the label everyone's an artist everyone can create visually okay do you sign your name on things do you write notes um that you put on your refrigerator then you can do art okay and with that look with that so um i i welcome your comments and i would love to hear your experience around this podcast today and i'm going to wrap it up because i'm sure that you'd be happy to get to doing what you were doing before this so blessed souls out there i send you my love and i wish you the best of energy healing journeys and last word for me what would you like to tell everyone who's listening you yourself, I would love to know. And um, 
because the world needs you and your message and what you do for this planet. Excuse me, boy, I'm just having like lots of energetic stuff coming out today. <laughs> I encourage each of you to look within and know that you can do and do absolutely. <laughs> I can't even read my own notes, you guys. Without doubt, you can heal yourself in every moment of every day. And with that, you can overcome anything. I love you so much and namaste, my friends. I shall see you very soon. Take care.